welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. I ordered the extra large Lucky Bag from Beautylish back in December and I'm really excited to share everything I got with you. I just received my box. I opened it but I didn't like peek inside to see what we got. I hope it's going to be a good one. Last year my box personally last year was really good so hopefully we continue with the good luck. If you like unboxing videos, please keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing before you leave. And now let's go ahead and get into the Beautylish Lucky Bag 2023 unboxing. That was like a mouthful. Uh, here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited for it. Um, this is what it looks like this time around. And let's see, the dragons on this year's lucky bag symbolize good luck and fortune along with power and change. We hope these surprises offer you moments of self-love that help you tap into your power in 2024. I guess actually it's beauty lish bag 2024 because it says hashtag lucky bag 2024 hashtag beauty lish. So maybe I'm confused. Maybe it's supposed to be 2024. Uh, anyways, the value or the amount that I paid for this box, it was $150, but that was before taxes and shipping. So it came out to about maybe $170, $180, and it's supposed to be $350 plus a value. Um, so opening it up, it's still don't see anything yet. Let's pull out those little the, the packing paper to save the box and oh this is everything over here oh my goodness is okay there's a lot of stuff in here here it is all let is let's open it let's see i want to see what did we get all right so i'm gonna start with it looks like i got a brush the first uh which one is this? Oh my gosh, I got another Sonia G. I got a Sonia G travel brush set last year and I love it. This one is called the Fundamental Worker M. So I'm guessing this is more of a, uh, um, like an eyeshadow brush. Looks really nice. I like it. Oh, I'm super excited. Super happy. I do not have any of her eyeshadow like uh, brushes. Well, I do have the two travel ones that I got last year in Beautylish box, but they were like the shorter ones. So here's the first item. Super excited about that. Um, we've got by Good Molecules Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel. Um, I don't know that I've tried the Good Molecules cleanser before. I know that this is the Beautylish brand, so didn't, I'm not surprised that we got a product from uh, Good Molecules. I see something by Charlotte Tilbury. All right, Eye Enhancing Beauty Secrets Kit. I got two of those um, single cream shadow uh, pencils. One is in the shade Pillow Talk and one is in Smoky Pillow Talk. Let's go ahead and open these. Oh my goodness, I have not tried these before, so I'm super duper excited. So far, all of the products I have, I have not tried before. Oh, those are so nice. These are gonna be nice, nice, nice. So this is the Smoky Pillow Talk. Uh, I wonder if this is gonna be a matte, and then the other one maybe. Ooh, that is so pretty all over the eye and kind of like blend it out and tap something uh, shimmery above it. And then the other one, these are the Color Chameleon, by the way. The line is called Color Chameleon. And now this is Pillow Talk. So, oh yeah. So oh, these would layer up so beautifully. Oh man, these look so pretty. I'm super excited. I have not tried these before, you guys. I'm so happy so far. Okay, let's see. I feel like there's a... <gasps> we got an eyeshadow palette by Nanessa Myrix. Or I did. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I was so mad at myself. I was like, should I get it? Should I not get it when it released? Uh, this is the Lightwork Volume 5 I Am Palette. Oh my gosh. There's a, a silver shade in here that I've been dying. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. I am super duper happy. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I kind of was like feeling a little bit left out. I love her products. I have one of her um, 
uh, like uh, palettes like these and it was the three like the the three I don't have the five. Oh my goodness this is the silver color that I was like I really be so pretty oh man <gasps> it is gorgeous I'm so happy and I think this is sold out now um yeah I'm really 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 excited about this one I'm so glad I didn't purchase it during the holidays oh it paid off to wait, I guess. Uh, what else do we have? We've got a Holly Frog Situational Skincare uh, Daily Mineral Sunscreen Brought Spectrum SPF 30. Cool. I always need more uh, sunscreens. I don't know that I've ever... I, I don't know much about this brand. Have you guys tried it before? Hmm. I like it. I kind of like the packaging of it. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, yeah, SPF 30. There's a couple more products. Okay, what's this? We've got from RMS Beauty Light Lip Lights, and this is in the shade uh, Rhapsody. Let's see. What is this? Okay, so like um, glide onto lips, wear alone, or over any RMS Beauty lip product for a natural gloss finish. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit out of it and see what this is like. It is one of those metal tubes, so I feel like I'm squeezing and squeezing and nothing is happening. Okay, come on, did we get a dud? Come on. It's like one of those, uh, you know those paint, um, like acrylic paint things? I think maybe we got a dud, you guys. I'm getting nothing. I'm getting nothing. Let's see. Okay. Still nothing. Still nothing. Oh man, why is it not getting out? Okay. Hmm. I think I might need uh, something, something to push the product through. Or squeeze some of the product. Hmm. I don't know, this is extremely thick. Hmm. Super thick. I guess. Mm, but I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> oh my God. This is not working. What is going on? Okay. Here it goes. Wow. That's a lot of effort for a, um, like a, a glossy, but it feels so tacky. I don't know that I would want to feel that on my lips all day long. I don't know. I feel like this is meh, but it's all right. Didn't think that I would love everything in this box and that's the point of it, right? Okay, there's a couple more products. We have a hair tie, slip hair tie. I can always use these. What else do we have? We have a Natasha Denona Pastel Plexi Glow Highlighter. Since when did she have a pastel highlighter? Ooh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Let's let's swatch it. Feels nice. Feels really nice. Okay, so it's one of those like uh, shade shifting highlighters. It looks a little bit green, a little bit pink, um, a little bit golden. A little bit of everything. I'm not mad about it. Hey, Natasha Denona products. I feel like there's two more. Two more? Yeah. There are two more products in here. We've got a Verb Ghost Oil. I'm not a fan of these, to be honest. I feel like this um, this one specifically, I'm not a big fan of it. I'll probably pass this on to a friend. But hey, and hey, we got another eyeshadow palette. This is by Viseart. And this is the Florette Amour eyeshadow palette Ooh, you guys this looks pretty this looks really pretty are these supposed to be um is it all eyeshadow yes yeah, six shade eyeshadow or shades five and six are not Okay, shades five and six contain pigments that the FDA has determined are unsafe for use in the eye area. I'm wondering which ones are... Okay, it doesn't tell me which one is shade five and six. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna guess that these two are supposed to be uh, blushes and here's the eyeshadows. This looks really pretty. It looks really, really pretty. I'm super excited about it. I like with the Viseart that you can take their, you know, the product out. Let's see, can I? Yeah. Does it say on the back? Nope, it does not say if it's shade five or six, but eyeshadows and I'm guessing blushes. And that is it. That is everything I received in my uh, Beautylish Lucky Bag Extra Large for, I guess, 2024. I am super excited about the Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palettes. I know this by itself is about, how much was it? Was it 130 or something that she was selling it? Um, Viseart, happy with that. I'm so happy with the crayons by uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm happy with the eyeshadow um uh brush from uh, sonia g the highlighter i'm like maybe maybe i'll use it maybe i won't i like the texture of it i do i like that quite a bit um the lippies probably the dud for me so far um and yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing let me know what you think in the comments below do you think i got a good bag not so good did you pick up the bag this year? And what did you get? Did you already receive it? Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.